Shalom. Uh, where can I start? I'm basically making this video to let, you know, a lot of my people know what's going on out here. I'm driving my route right now, my truck. You know, I do deliveries, pick up stuff from different places. I don't go inside no stores, make no contact with nobody. I just do my deliveries to the shed. But anyway, uh, last weekend, I'm, I'm very adamant about keeping my car clean. You know, I drive a Chevy Impala. Um, and last weekend I cleaned my car up. I think it was on a Friday because I had finished my route. And when I got back to the job, I cleaned my car off. You know, I'm very adamant about keeping that car clean. I have to ride clean. Went to my son's house the next day, Saturday. It was clear outside that day, Friday and Saturday when I went to his house over there in Concord, North Carolina. So as I reached there, I parked in front of his house, you know, with, you know, where his car is, is at, and, um, he, uh, you know, me and my youngest son that went with me, we ventured inside the house, and we relaxed in the house for about three or four hours when he was there. Came out to the car to get something after so many hours there. It was still daylight, but it looked like it had rain, which it did, because my car was wet. So I seen, I was like, damn, it rained? I ain't even hear no rain. So, you know, when I came out to the car and seen that my car was wet, it wasn't raining. The streets were still trying to dry up. And went back in the house. And when it was time for me to go about 5 o'clock, 4.35 o'clock that afternoon, uh, I got in the car and my car was filthy on the outside of it. Meaning the rain left a filth on my car so bad that it annoyed me so much that I had to wash my car off. So anyway, I got home and was just talking about how the windshield looked so dirty from the rain. I never drove in it. It was just, it just rained on my car. And I talked about how bad it was. And I think Sunday I cleaned it off. Sunday I finally cleaned it off. You know, cause I went to his house on Saturday and Sunday I cleaned it off. And um, that was on a Sunday and you know, I had to be to work the next day, Monday. So Sunday night, I was in the house with my son and it rained, it was raining hard than a motherfucker. And I'm like, damn, I just cleaned my car earlier too. I said, oh well, fuck it. Next day I gets up and go to work. It's filthy, again, filthy. And it wasn't being driven in the rain. It was just sitting there, taking the rain. It was filthy. So that Monday when I got back from running my route, I'm a truck driver, I cleaned my car at the job again. And another guy at the job got a black Jeep, you know. He likes to keep his car clean too. We was talking about how the rain did our cars. He didn't drive his car when it was raining. It was just sitting there taking the rain. So I cleaned mine that Monday evening after talking to him and went home. It rained Monday night, that night after I cleaned it. So Tuesday I got up like, damn, it rained on my car again. As I go out to the goddamn car, I see wet spots on like it rained, you know, that night, but the car was clean. So the water dried up on the car and the car was clean. So you know what that's telling me? This devil is putting stuff in the rain to make people sick. Now, it's a guy at my job. I just left Myrtle Beach. I'm down at Myrtle Beach. That's one of my stops that I run on this particular day. Uh, I'm headed to Lumberton now. And a guy named Jason that bees at that shed, he got stuff that he puts in his shed. And I come and exchange it out for what he put in there and give him new stuff. You know, it's an easy job. You know, good paying job called him to find out if he's been to the shed because some boxes was missing off his cart and he answered the phone coughing like a motherfucker I'm like yo you alright yeah man I'm alright man <laughs> yo just slow fucked up he couldn't even hold a conversation with me man he was barking like a fucking dog so anyway I asked him 
yo, what's wrong? He was like, yo, I ain't, I ain't been feeling good. I said, when you got sick? He was like, you know, like Sunday, this Sunday passed. And today is Wednesday the 1st. So he got sick on a Sunday. And I asked him last week when it was raining, did he get caught in the rain? He told me, yeah. Now, let me tell you something. He got caught in the rain and now he's sick. Back in February, before the coronavirus started going public, I got sick. I got caught in the rain and got sick. I was down for like three or four days and then I bounced back. You know, my immune system and the most high, you know, when you read the scriptures, the most high, I, I wound and I heal. So the most high made me whole again, you know, when you read the scriptures. But this man is sick now. And I just watched a video of this guy when he started, you know, explaining his video. Right at the beginning of the video when he comes on, his intro, he says that cough drops are running out in his city where he stay at because a lot of people is falling sick. It's coming from the rain, man. This devil is spraying shit in the air and then makes it rain like his name is Little Fucking Wayne make it come down on the people that's what he's doing because when I checked my car Tuesday after I cleaned it up and it rained again on my car after I seen the dirty shit on it the days before it was not fucking dirty and the wet spots that was on there they dried up and it didn't even spot up like you would wash a glass off and it spot up and you see the little white spots nothing was wrong with the car after it rained Tuesday so that led me to the conclusion that this motherfucking powers that be, these motherfuckers are evil. And then you got people running around here with masks on, thinking that's gonna protect them when it's really coming from the fucking rain. Your ass get caught in the fucking rain, you gonna get sick. Blank, point blank period. Your ass is gonna get sick. You know, you wearing these fucking masks stopping your oxygen and cutting your oxygen supply off and all this fucking madness, can't go in the store without a mask, this motherfucker trying to kill you every which way possible. Now he's saying social distancing, we don't want nobody to catch it and we don't want you to get sick. But at the same time, he's spraying the fucking air with chemtrails killing your ass. So how fucking hypocritical is that shit? But he's so concerned about you catching the coronavirus. So wear a mask and social distance and all this bullshit. American people are fucking stupid, man. And I'm so glad that I'm woke and the Most High is allowing me to see the shit that this devil is doing out here. Then you got a lot of these Israelite camps. You know, I ain't gonna say no names, man. They, they, yo, man. I know they teach the word of God, but a lot of them can't see shit. I don't give a damn what nobody say. But that's another story, man. But, uh, all I gotta say is, man, when it rains, don't get caught up in that shit. You better have a fucking umbrella. I keep an umbrella. Look, I got three big umbrellas, man, that I keep on deck with me. I don't want that rain touching me. And when I got sick back in February, right before the fucking coronavirus, so-called coronavirus, came out, I got caught in the rain and my hoodie was drenched. I took that shit off, laid it on the side of the seat right here and went home. Three or four days later, I was sick. But my immune system fought it off. All praise to the most high for that. So the point of this video is I never really made a live video because I'm camera shy and all type of other shit. I don't really deal with cameras and speaking like this. I'd rather speak in person. But the moral to this video is if it rains and you see it's raining, don't get caught in that motherfucking rain. That rain is fucking filthy. Sometimes it'll be raining, and you, if you're in the house and you open the door up just to look outside and see if it's raining, it smell like a fucking fish tank in that motherfucker. It smell like a fish tank outside. It stink, man. It smell like dogs and shit. This fucking world is sick, man. These powers that be, these motherfuckers are devils, man. And if you can't see that, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But when you watch some of my videos that I do put up, even though I'm not making none right now because, you know, I'm being censored in all type of fucking ways possible. 
when you watch videos, you're gonna get cussing. You're gonna get all kind of madness that I may put out there. And I don't give a damn who don't like it. So be it. You don't have to watch the video. You don't have to subscribe to my channel, neither. But, to, but the moral of the story is, stay out of the fucking rain, Israel. Because you got different places where you out and about, it'll be raining one place, and then it'll dry up real quick and the sun is out. That's just like you getting a can of road spray and spraying a bug and then walking away. That's what they doing. They drenching you with the fucking rain, spraying the chemtrails in the air and making the shit come down on you in the fucking rain. This place is madness, man. This place is fucking madness. But anyway, I'm driving and I don't like to occupy my phone like this when I'm driving my truck. But just be safe out there and know that when it rains, this devil is coming after you with his rain and his damn chemicals in the rain to make you sick. That's what's making you sick. And ain't no damn mask gonna stop you from getting sick. That's just to cut your oxygen off to make your brain dead more than what the fuck you is if you're drinking tap water and all this crazy shit. They got the society so dumbed down that these people just don't believe shit they hear. This shit is madness, man. But I'm out, man. Shalom.